Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for engaging with the video regarding the woman who married a man 30 years or senior and who is now facing all kinds of harassment from his relatives. Please, I usually don't do this, but I'm going to ask you to share the video if you can. Continue to uh, make comments under the video because I want her to see that she's not alone. She's going through a very difficult time in her life right now, but the problem she's had persist over the years. And this is just my part of allowing her to understand that you're not alone in these situations and that they're very common, but because they're common doesn't mean you have to tolerate it. I, for one, I'm not the type of person that would announce my plans because I don't live like that. When people attack me, I know how to deal with them. But, you know, sometimes when we are going through all kinds of things, all we need is support, loving support from other women or men also. But in this case, I feel like I have to support a sister. And as I have mentioned before, I know her husband as well and considered him as a friend. But at this moment, it seems there's no reasoning with him. And so um, we have to put it out there to share the story so that other people who are going through the same thing know that they have recourse. Other women who are going through problems with extended families or relatives of their partner to understand that you don't have to tolerate or put up with this thing anymore. Someone in the comment section said it's a time, though, where you have to be very careful because we know about the contract cane K situation that is happening in Jamaica. And this is one of those things that are ripe for it. And so we don't want to keep it under the radar because these guys are getting away with it for as long as they have. They continue to get away with it because they think that, you know, this lady doesn't know or have anyone to back up her. But social media is a very dangerous place, but social media can be a very informative place. And we need her story out there to stop them in their tracks. We need to tell her story. And she's not able to tell her story right now because of what's going on with her health. She's not able to speak or articulate right now because of issues that she's dealt with. In my own opinion, attack she's endured. But listen, here's what I say. Weapons that form against us and we're innocent cannot prosper so guys do this for jenny you know share the video comment on the video let's get it out there so other people are going through the same thing can find this video this video i'm trying to push it because i want it out there and i'm also going to share it with other platforms who would want to share her story it's a real story and something that, um, you know, I feel very hurt and very cut up about. And just imagine what she's feeling like. Here, these people are saying she shouldn't have access to her own thing that she worked hard for. And access to her husband's home that she's lived in for 32 years. And her children are not entitled to anything. You know, so thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much.